Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Have another 2027 prospect scouting report for you here on the channel. I'm going to be joined again by Luigi Tadone. We're doing this series here on the channel. But tonight, we're going to talk about Nate Frazier, an exciting running back headed to the Georgia Bulldogs, man. We are really excited about this player. His tape is phenomenal. All right, we're going to go through a bunch of stats, recruiting, opportunity for the 2024 season. Um, if you play Debbie, you play C2C, and you're looking for a YouTube channel out there to give you an upper hand in your supplemental drafts and your Debbie startup drafts, hit that subscribe button. This channel is dedicated to helping you scout future dynasty assets. Let's get to it. Enjoy the show. Hey, Luigi, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk some Nate Frazier today. Awesome. I'm super excited about him. He's one of my favorite uh, uh, incoming freshmen. I know it is, and I'm glad you brought him to the table because, uh, you know, he looks really good. We're going to get to the film room in a second, but first let's go through some uh, some statistics, some some uh, recruiting, and see what his opportunity is next year. But came from modern day uh, high school, ranked number one in the country last year from California. So this kid comes from a great high school, playing against some great competition. You'll see here on the screen, guys, we have some rushing statistics and some receiving statistics. You can see he took a little bit of dip in production in, in the senior season in 2023, 2024 but he was kind of nicked up a little bit but don't let that fool you man we'll get to the film room this kid has got the ability to play going to georgia he is going to be an exciting c2c and devi asset for sure also included in these videos we're going to talk about his uh, speed a little bit and see what we can gather on the internet and bring it to you guys and back in february of 18 of last year uh he uh, ran 10.82 uh meter 100 meter which equates to basically a 4.51 40 time we're going to see on his film the guy has got some juice so um, i'm not really worried about long speed for running backs personally it's to me it's all about short area quickness and footwork and boy are we going to see that when we get to the film room here shortly so let's take a look at his recruiting profile uh 24 7 sports you can see him here he's 5 foot 10 206 pounds so he's got that good frame that we're looking for is at least a starting point going into college he is ranked uh number two in the composite but very surprisingly 24 7 has him ranked ninth right now uh we're in uh, mid-january right now recording this video i have a feeling he's going to rise uh, for 24-7 sports. We go over to 1-3. Uh, we are looking at him as the uh, the industry ranking at number two, but they have him ranked as the number one running back in the class. And I think, Luigi, once we get through the film, I think uh, I'm going to lean maybe to the on three recruiting services because I think this guy's got some game and I'm really excited to talk to you about it. But before we get I'm to the film room, let's let's talk about his opportunity in 2024. All right. We know Georgia loves to sit their running backs. Right. So probably that's going to happen again. But there is, uh, you know, a lot of guys leaving the backfield. All right. We got John Edwards going to the NFL. Kendall Milton headed to the NFL. Branson Robinson tore his patella tendon. We're not sure if he is going to rebound. He was an exciting prospect as well. Roderick Robinson uh, the second uh, had some really good plays this year and kind of flashed a little bit. So that's another Debbie asset, C2C asset that we need to keep our eyes on. Um, but the big news was Trevor Etienne uh, from the transfer portal uh, going to Georgia. That's a real coup there for Kirby Smart, and I can imagine he's going to get the rock a lot and often. What are your thoughts on the uh, backfield heading into 2024? Um, as far as opportunity goes, uh, you know, Georgia traditionally goes slow with their guys developing their players, letting yeah. them in the, the weight room, um, let them acclimate. And, uh, but, uh, so expectations are, um, you know, limited, but, uh, limited touches, but I, I, I got a ton of talent, man. I mean, he's, a, he's a SC, SEC player right yeah. out, right out of the, yeah. off the bus, you know, he's ready to yeah. roll I whenever agree. they need him. If there's any injury, something like that, it, he flashes, he's going to be a, a big riser, um, in our drafts next year. So definitely, yeah. definitely named like if he gets, yeah. starts getting buzzed, you got to pick him up because you don't want to miss out on him. That's oh, I, I think he's going to be a first or second round C2C supplemental draft book it, lock it. He's not getting out of round two. I don't think so. Especially after everyone watching this film, he's going to watch the film and that's where uh -huh. we're headed right now to the film room. So let's get to it. All right, we're in the film room, man. Let's get right to it. Hey, listen, we can't do a film room uh, on Nate Frazier until we take a look at the All-American game that just happened a couple weeks ago. And here he is at the top of the screen, Luigi, going out for a pass. Look at this. Mm -hmm. All right. You kidding me? I was so excited when I saw that. I was like, boom, oh, that's boy. my guy right there. That's your guy. This has been your guy for quite some time. And uh, just a couple of highlights here before we get to his junior tape. He's not a lot of senior tape on the huddle. But we're going to get to his junior, but we're going to just kind of give you guys this, uh, you know, exciting uh, PPR option. The kid is, is a bruiser. We're going to take a look at that here very shortly. But the fact that he can catch the ball out of the backfield, man, is going to be another weapon. Um, 
you know, in his arsenal. So here we go, man. We're going to take a look. And I tell you, when I look for running backs, I look for uh, contact balance that you just saw there, a little yes. bit of speed that you just saw there as well. Um, and the footwork, this guy, I think has got some really good vision. Here's another speed. I mean, just guys taking bad angles. That was really nice. Presses the hole a little bit and off to the races. He goes, he's got some really good speed too. Mm -hmm. He's a quick but stepper. He is a very quick stepper. He's just a, you know, not much to see on here. He's just out running everyone, but you know, gets to the pylon before everybody else. His footwork to me is really, really good. And his vision, I mean, here's just. Again, I think this is just, you know, he presses the, you know, look at how he just separates those two defenders and the co contact balance is just phenomenal. I mean, he's just got guys nipping at his heels constantly and yeah, really advances through contact. You said it so many times, lateral agility is so important and this kid's got it. Yeah, I mean. Low center okay. of gravity. Yep, yep. Thick, Excellent thick lower half. Balance. Mm -hmm. yep. thick thick lower lower half. Race. And he's got the juice to, I don't care what the 4.5 says. I mean, this kid's got, you know, enough speed to be a breakaway threat, I think, at the next level. Absolutely. But, and he, he's not just an athlete, too. He understands the game. He's played a, a, a all over the field. He's mm -hmm. um, he's a smart kid. Uh, I'm an interview guy. I'm always watching interviews. I, I, I like them. I, th I thought he I thought he presented himself really well. I think he's going to fit in really well in Georgia, um, yeah. at the culture they got down there. Yeah, the, the the long speed. And I'll tell you what I really like watching this kid is his defensive manipulation. He is pressing the, the line of scrimmage. He's setting up defenders to to create space for himself. I mean, just yep. look at this. This Absolutely. is just this is sensational. I mean, can you know, goes in here, presses, lateral movement, acceleration. Goodbye. It's pretty sweet. I knew you were gonna like him. I know, man. Thanks for you know, um I, but again, just bad tackling, but and then he's got the He's always trying to 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 see forward. I love his forward vision. It's great. He's he's really trying to set up defenders regularly. I mean, this is he gets out of a, a compromising situation, has the ability to go out. Here he is one on one with somebody. What does he do? I mean, look at the he's just shedding tackles one after the other. Good acceleration. He's immediately outside. See how he presses the line, gets that middle linebacker to hold right yeah. there. Yeah. Has him go inside, then he takes advantage of it and accelerates. And then again, just uh, people taking players taking bad angles. Oh, it's so good! This is this is my one of my favorite plays. He sets this guy up in the second level and then just makes a fool out of him like that. I mean that that's tremendous. And then he you know, gets five after yards after contact. A really good acceleration out of the hole. Yeah, look at that! Boom. Excellent. I want to see a touchdown, but that's just me. Yeah. Well, can't have it all, Luigi. He can't have it all. <laughs> you know. But I mean, just look at the, look at him dragging tacklers. This kid looks like he's going to be a Georgia strong running back. I mean, Absolutely. already. I mean, he's he's got. You know, there's the contact at the forty five, and what's he get eight extra yards by the time he's dragging? Yeah. And again, we he went to the the, the solid high school too. He's not playing against, you know, bad competition. So you, you just have to love his, uh, his acceleration is, is outstanding. He checks every box for me. Oh, That's I agree with you. I agree mm -hmm. with you. I mean, there's, you, there's, there's only so much analysis we can provide. I mean, you look at it yourself, you can kind of see, I mean, the way he drags track tacklers, he's just, he's got that lower center of gravity. Center, like you said. Low center of gravity. Yeah. It just contact balance is awesome. Mm -hmm. Really comfortable. Uh, yeah. Setting up defenders moving in space gets the game work. understands the game that's so key with these kids mm -hmm. he's not just I, an athlete look at that i love his his um lateral agility is awesome yeah it he, really he, is he, i mean i oh. love the vision you know again he's he the linebacker thinks he's got him going outside and then he takes advantage of the it and it lets, sets up the block goes through yeah he's got some good vision some really good footwork the ability to get upfield in a hurry. Look at that. Bounce outside. You got to love a running back who can bounce outside like that effectively. This is such a treat for me, Brandon. I got to say, I, I've been watching your stuff for a while, man. And, and you got 
great eye, a great eye for scouting. Uh, you know, I really appreciate your perspective and just doing this live with you is so freaking. Yeah, man, this is, uh, we're living the dream, brother. We're living yeah. the dream. I'm, I'm telling you, I enjoy doing this so just as much. So it, it's a pleasure having you here. So, Thanks, um, man. he just, uh, checks all the boxes, like you said, and the fact that he's going to Georgia and playing in the sec and if he's productive, you know, you know, the downside going there is you always got competition, but like you said, you know, they always get their chance eventually and the cream rises to the top. The thing I was is, really, you know, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, and, and when we're talking Debbie, it's interesting because that two, four, seven ranking, he, he's not high on everyone's radar. He, you know, he, uh, he's fallen and, you know, skimming through some of the mocks, he's slipping, um, down to the later rounds and tons of mocks, which is, which is fine. You know, it's hard to invest in running backs and Debbie and mm -hmm. I get it. And, you know, he, he's probably is going to sit, but, um, People, he's not like he's not on everyone's radar right now, and uh, I don't think he's been picked in our nine round mock, has he? No, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's exactly what I was thinking. He, he yeah. hasn't been, he hasn't been picked yet. Yeah, and a so lot listen, of other, a lot of. Well, that's great because that means that people watching this video, we're going to get tuned in on them and say, hey, you know, but look at look at the yeah, toughness. Take advantage, of take advantage of those two four seven rankings, guys. Yeah, that's right. Why well, you can just, just look at the the physicality. You know me and running backs, man. They got to be tough. He's going to be Georgia he's a tough. tough. Yeah, he's a tough kid. I mean, just look at the footwork here. It's phenomenal. Boom, boom, boom. Core strength, too. Let me just put that yeah. out there. He's got really good core strength. Absolutely. That's so important with running backs. So key. Good base. Look at that. Mm. Quick feet. Look at that. Quick feet. Really quick feet. Ability to get outside. It's a feather in his cap right there. I love his patience too. You know, he doesn't rush to the line of scrimmage. He really just, you know, kind of takes his time when he sees an opening, he accelerates, lowers the boom with some physicality. I'll tell you, I think physicality is an underrated trait in scouting running backs. You can tell sometimes when guys don't mind getting hit and they initiate mm -hmm. the contact versus guys that kind of put their head down. And that's why I was never a, a, like, like a yeah. Zach Evans fan. I thought he was soft mm -hmm. and, you know, like he didn't like contact. You could tell watching it, no matter how good his feet were, you know, um, I guess this, that's the end kid, of it. He's just getting started when the contact comes. That's, yeah. that's, just, that's just the beginning for him. He, Absolutely. That's like when the game really starts, he's not just Absolutely. falling forward for a yard. He's trying to figure out how many can get out of this. And I love yeah. that. I love that mentality. Yeah, I do too. I think it's a big plus in his in his profile. So, hey, Luigi, man, thanks. We're going to be doing films like this, guys, each and every week. We're going to try and get to as many prospects before college football happens in next September. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you uh, got a good look here at Nate Frazier, man. He's a guy that if you play Debbie, you play CTC, C2C uh, fantasy leagues, you've got to draft this kid early. Thanks for watching. Bye.